It's a wonderful place for kids to learn the basics about science. And here is our main state fossil, Pritica quadrifera. Inside this now 129-year-old L.C. Bates Museum, there's a lesson in science at every turn. Things like this we bring down for the children to play with. And put that in front of your face and you'll get a great picture. There, there. we go. So the kids love this. <laughs> the many rooms full of animal life, minerals, the cultural artifacts that fill three floors worth are the ongoing accumulation of George Hinckley's vision when he founded what is now the Hinckley School back in 1889. He thought museums, libraries, and schools were equal. He could not see the place without a museum. Deborah Staber has run the museum now for 25 years, caring for this aging collection, which in many cases dates back to the early 1900s. I see right off the bat yeah, the marlin. Were, the blue marlin was caught by Ernest Hemingway. To say the least, an eclectic assortment of mementos, which Hinckley managed to secure from donors all around the world. Mr. Hinckley got around, he traveled, he did not sit here. Because he was also um, promoting the home for children, he would go on places, he'd go to New York, he'd go and travel. They like to call this place a museum of a museum. We do make a point of telling the children that a long time ago there was no TV, there were no videos. You could not just access this material. Here, the old-fashioned exhibits are still meant to be viewed the very same way folks saw them a century ago. In fact, these dioramas were paid for by the museum's namesake, Lawrence Carleton Bates. So these dioramas were like magic windows magic windows that took you outside into the real life and into nature, and then print like that. Through so much about yesterday, the mission here is to help ensure there's a tomorrow. These are real frittlies, and they are now extinct. We feel like if we get the children to love and care about nature, they'll care about stewardship and conservation in the future. In hometown Hinckley, Steve Minnick, WMTW News 8.